which is mostly coming from Brew. Brothers Chris and Steve Whiteman fish off the coast of Lowestoft using the age-old method of long lining. Long lining is probably the most, most environmentally friendly uh, method of fishing, where the, uh, we, bait, we bait the hooks with squid or, or local caught herring, and they, uh, they're only on the bottom for, for, for an hour or, or, or two in fishing time per, per, per day. And uh, they, we, we catch and cod and uh, thornback rays, blonde rays, and uh, maybe the occasional shark species like uh, spur dogs and smooth hams. The, uh, the long line of method hasn't changed for years. We, we've, uh, we're still doing it the same as we did a hundred years ago. We're still, uh, still labour intensive that we have to stand there and uh, put bits of hate, uh, bait on every, every single hook and uh, that, that hasn't changed at all. We've got an um, inshore fleet here which fish with a lines, which is the best way of fishing because they're sustainable for one thing. They get the best of the fish. It's not damaged in the bottom of a trawl net on the bottom of the seabed with all the stones and rocks. It's absolutely pristine condition and this is what we got at the moment. That's absolutely fantastic. The Responsible Fishing Scheme is a new scheme brought out from the Sea Fish Authority and uh, it's just like a, a, a British standard for the uh, for the industry because we've just been uh, certificated for that and hopefully that will open us up to uh, to be able to sell to a wider wider market who are looking for the for that that kind of product you know the the uh, people are waking up to the fact that you, you can source fish sustainably and, and this is a method that, that provides that for people you know, we've seen the fishing effort um, being reduced from the big deep sea trawlers that were catching um, tens of tons every haul um, to um, a small niche uh, fleet that, as I say, is hook and line, uh, sustainable fisheries. They don't catch everything in the sea. The small ones don't get caught. You know, they, they obviously replenish themselves and, and they target the bigger fish. It's a, it's a sustainable catch, there's plenty of it, it's not an endangered species. To my mind that's rubbish, when they say cod's endangered species, um, and things like that. We, we do need to be able to get the message across that, that the smaller vessels don't do a huge amount of damage to the, to the stocks. You know, they, we need to be, be able to give them the freedom. To, uh, to fish for what's available. For the last sort of four or five years we, we are seeing a marked improvement and hopefully over the next few years um, there will be more fish in the sea you catch. I can't see why not. We've, we've had about six years now of new big trawlers in Lowestoft and we've managed so I can't see why we can't carry on. Stocks are there I believe. Fishermen will tell you that stocks are there. Okay, there's always a bit of an argument with the scientists. Um, but yeah, there, there's a good sustainable fisheries here now um, and that will continue and, and the, the, fortunately there's other generations that are coming into the industry. There will always be a future, um, probably not, uh, not as big future as, as, as it was but who knows. Uh, anything can happen overnight, you know. Fishing industry and there'll be fish landed here. But um, the, the, the heydays have, uh, have definitely gone and they, there's no way they'll come back. Something does need to, to change quite quickly because you can see there's only, only about half a dozen boats still still working. We need the public to know we're here and, and to, to take advantage of, uh, of the industry, what, what, what they have on their doorstep. You know, I think we've been forgotten over the, over the last uh, 15 or 20 years and people have seen it on, on different things in the media that the, the industry is in decline and uh, fishing of rape, uh, fishermen are raping and pillaging the, the, the grounds and that's, that's just not simply not the case anymore. Whilst the heyday of the industry has passed, the future of fishing in Lower Stock is by no means over and the boats continue to fish in the waters which made this town so famous. <laughs>